Welcome to Honey Extraction Day 1. This is our honey making workshop. Nothing high tech, we extract honey in our neighbor's garage and borrow his equipment. Just a thought here, but imagine every household could have their own beehives and each community had a room like this where the beekeeping equipment could be shared by everyone. Anyways, this works for us. We had such a hot spring and the bees had been working so hard that we extracted 42 kilos of honey much earlier than usual at the end of May and we'll be able to do another extraction at the end of the summer. If you haven't seen my previous video, Bees 101, it explains the work the bees do to create the honey and wax on these frames. This video will explain how beekeepers get the honey on these frames into jars for eating. But let's not forget that it's the bees who do the hard work to make honey, not the beekeepers. Now, to be clear, you can eat everything the bees have built on these frames, but it will be waxy in texture, and the wax has other purposes to be used for, like being built into honeycomb-shaped sheets to put back in the hives, to produce glues or pastes, or even for beeswax wraps. So this is why we separate the wax from the honey. We use this large knife to cut only the parts of the frame that have been filled with honey and covered in wax. Oh, that sounds fine. <laughs> the wax we cut off then drains through a filter so that we can collect every last drop of honey we can. The bees worked hard on this after all, so the least wasted, the better. We then put these frames with the honey now exposed into a machine that spins the frames, thus making the honey fly off the frames. This machine is quite high tech. Last year, we had a machine for the same purpose that we spun by hand with a crank. I saw that. Gravity allows the honey to slowly drain from this machine where we collect it and then put it through a filter to remove any excess wax or pollen that may have fallen off the frames with the honey during the spinning process. After this filter, we let the honey sit for a few days so that any wax still in the honey will rise to the top and can be removed before the honey goes into jars, where it will be perfectly preserved and never expire. So now you know how honey gets from the beehive to your table. Thanks for watching, be sure to like this video if you've learned something and subscribe to never miss an upload.